So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one super tip for essay writing, and that is how to embed quotations effectively in your essays. So I understand that a lot of students tend to struggle with embedding quotations, but in order to present your answers and your arguments and ideas in the most convincing manner, it's absolutely important that you master the skill of embedding quotations. So instead of what I like to call quote dumping, which is the practice of picking out a phrase or a line from a text and then just slotting it in your paragraph as a standalone reference or sentence, let's do some quote weaving, which is a preferable alternative to quote dumping. So let's take a look at this sentence below. Lady Macbeth shows a desire to dissociate herself from conventional feminine traits in Act 1, Scene 5 of the play. Quote, Come you spirits that tend on mortal thoughts, unsex me here. So as you can tell, this isn't the best way of presenting your answer because there is no organic or grammatical link between the two sentences. And so that doesn't really help your reader or your examiner follow your train of thought, which is going to compromise your performance on your essay. And so instead, a better alternative is to write something like this. When Lady Macbeth calls for the spirits that tend on mortal thoughts to unsex me here in Act 1, Scene 5 of the play, she shows a desire to dissociate herself from conventional feminine traits. So as I'm sure you'd agree, that sounds a lot better, right? And so the key to effectively embed quotations is number one, not be afraid of chopping up the original quote and then filling in the gaps with the help of prepositions, conjunctions and pronouns. And number two, your job is to pick out only the most important parts from the original quote and then looking at how you can fit them in your analysis in the most grammatical way. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, just a very quick tip on how to embed quotations effectively. And if you want any sort of demonstration on how you can actually do that, you can go ahead and click on the links which I'll provide in the video description. And that will take you to all the blog posts for the poetry and Shakespeare analysis, um, which you'll see lots of examples of um, quotation embedding in there. Oh, and before I forget, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you want more study tips and learning resources on GCSE, A-level or IB English literature going forward. And please leave me a comment below if you have any ideas for future topics that you'd like me to cover in the videos going forward. And I will see you guys very soon. Ciao!